thou doest. So here we see then a promise, which is also very common in a lot of these passages talking about the tithe, is that God will bless you. When you just are obedient, when you just do what God's telling you to do, when you bring your tithe, when, when you know, you're just following God's law, he says, I'll bless you for that. Turn, if you would, to Proverbs chapter 3. Because tithing requires you to trust God. One of the lessons learned from just paying your tithe to the Lord, giving what belongs to Him back to Him, is what it is. I mean, really, when you're thinking about it, it, there should never be this thought of like, well, should I pay my tithe? Should I, you know, it's like, what, what you're really doing is saying, well, should I just keep something that belongs to God? We just got done reading Joshua uh, chapter 7 with, with the story of Achan, where everything was supposed to be dedicated unto the Lord. That belonged to the Lord. The spoils of Jericho belonged unto God. And what did Achan do? He took some of that for himself. And the Bible says that he was stealing from God. Well, if we choose just to, to say, no, I need this money. God doesn't need my money. I need this money. So I'm not going to give God the tithe. You're stealing from God. And Malachi chapter 3 says that. We'll get to that in a little bit. But it, 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 that's, the Bible clearly says that too. You're, you're robbing God when you're not giving your tithe. And I'll reiterate this. I'm not saying this because I want your money. I'm saying this so that you can have the information because wouldn't you like to know if you were even accidentally stealing from the Lord? I know I'd want to know. I think it's really important. I think it's something that everybody needs to know, which is why we're even going over this. Because it is an important topic. And hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure everyone does, but hopefully everyone's just okay with this anyways. But we could just learn a little bit more tonight. Proverbs chapter 3. One of the things that tithing requires us to do is to trust in the Lord. I think that's especially true when you don't earn a lot of money. When people have limited income. Maybe you're struggling financially. Maybe you have other debts. Maybe you have a big family and you just don't really have a lot of money. And you go, oh man, you know, this 10%, like, whatever that, that dollar amount is, you're thinking like, oh, it'd be so much easier. I wouldn't be struggling so much if I just had that little bit extra. Just a little bit. And in some people's cases, humanly spink, thinking, that might make sense. Just, just in the flesh, just humanly thinking, the, the, the wisdom of this world, for sure, is going to tell you, well, absolutely. You don't have enough money to be, you know, given to church, to be tithing. But this is one of those areas that God wants you to trust Him. Just trust him because he'll make sure that you're okay. And in fact, I believe you'll be even way better off by just being obedient in what he says and not stealing from him than whatever you think you're going to benefit by not giving it to him, by not giving that tithe. And when we remember that God's all powerful, <laughs> he can get his tithe however he wants to. Right? Whether you give it voluntarily or you end up paying it in medical expenses or vehicle expenses or whatever. And if it happens to be that way, you know, it's probably going to be a lot worse. Now, you may not always know when something like that is, is, is God chastising you, but I do, I do know what the Bible promises here. We're going to read some of this about honoring God and respecting God and giving Him what belongs to Him. Look at verse number 5 of Proverbs 3. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust. Rely on Him. And lean not unto thine own understanding. Don't trust your own wisdom. Just trust God and what He says. Verse number 6. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths that's every way, all thy ways, even financially. Just trust in the Lord. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance. That's talking about your money, your things, what you own. And with the first fruits of all thine increase. 
It's coming from the book of wisdom. Verse 10, so shall thy barns be filled with plenty. He's saying, if you do this, if you honor God, if you give God the first fruits, your barns will be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. God will bless you for your obedience. He will make sure that you are provided for and provided for abundantly. He will. It may not even make sense to you, but God will make sure that things will happen. That, that things will happen well for you and that you'll be blessed for it because you've stepped out in faith, especially if you're thinking, man, we can't even afford this. I don't know how we're going to survive. But if you just say, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm still going to just give what, what I owe to God, God will bless you for that.